making a quick video today. Got some new tires for the Kubota DX. This is one of the old ones that was on the left side. One of the old ones on the right side. And actually, you can see they've still got a fair bit of tread, but the problem is the sidewalls. You can see this one, I'll flex it. That's actually a hole right here that air was coming out of. And then if you look on this one, it had right here, some air was coming out of that. The one on the left side was, turn it around there, there we go. One on the left side was not leaking nearly as bad. It would stay usable for a few days. The one on the right side got bad enough that it would last about three or four hours before I'd have to put air in it. What I replaced it with, uh, these old ones had 370.3 hours on them. And I bought the tractor December 31st, 2015. So it's been pushing five and a half years and 370 hours. I do some commercial with it and um, just a lot of stuff I've had around the house. Probably 200 to 250 of those hours have been commercial. The rest are on my property. So what I replaced it with is the BKT 18 by eight and a half to 10, made in India. And it's, uh, see if I can turn this here. Eight ply skid power HD. So you can see that one's gonna go on the right side, in this direction. And it's got kind of a tiered system sitting beside the old one. And remember, one's got air in it, one doesn't. But you can see, other than the dirt, which I was too lazy to clean off, this far side, that outside edge takes a big, big rub, doing a lot of loader work and everything. Whereas this was the inside and it's pretty much new. But like I said, I wouldn't have replaced these. If the sidewalls would have been good, what I would have done instead, you can see the side's not quite as bad, it's almost as bad though inside versus the outside and then here's the the other same thing like i said these are actually skid steer tires um the old ones have a four ply rating Let's see if i can find that real quick just to show you there it is four ply rating up to 22 PSI. Designed in the USA. And then these new ones. It's interesting these new ones i'm not seeing a psi rating or weight rating oh here we go two and a half bar max i have no idea how much that is made the seventh week of 2021 so these are brand new but the old ones four ply so these are literally twice as heavy on the rating but in practical terms i can tell you it's closer to three times for the sidewall I could I can push these in pretty good. Oh, sorry. There you go. I can push these in pretty good. These I could not push at all. So, for whatever that's worth, I bought these actually at Walmart. Uh, Amazon wanted ninety bucks a piece for these. Walmart wanted fifty four, I think it was, and shipped it to my house. Took three days, I think. Like I ordered it, two days shipping, and then it arrived on the third day. So we'll see how they go. Um, made for skid steers, not tractors. So I'm guessing I'll get a lot of life out of them. The edges don't look too rough. In fact, the edges on these are rougher than uh, for cornering. So we'll see how they hold up. 
got five and a half years out of the crappy four plies. I would expect to get significantly longer out of these new ones. So, like I said, I wouldn't have got rid of these if the sidewalls would hold air, but I would have probably just switched them, move the insides to the outside, smooth side to side. But instead, they'll sit in my shed in case I put an angle iron through one of these. Any questions ask, I'll try to monitor this and answer them. Quick update on this. I told you wrong, and you can see it in the other video, I just said it wrong. Right here in this writing, it says don't go over 100 PSI, but does not give a weight rating anywhere. So the old ones, Kubota calls for a 22 PSI in these fronts for the BX25 D1, which is what I have. And the old ones were max 22 PSI, so you're literally running at max. These are max 100, so I've got them set at 29 PSI each. I'll try that and see how it goes. And then I'll see if you, I can show you this. You can kind of see from there that they're both, I, I was like, towed in, is that what we'd call that? Where the top is outside where the bottom is, um, down here faces in like this so we'll see that's part of the reason that outside rubs lower this outer edge on the old ones is significantly shorter than the inside and you see i need to get some new boots that's on the to-do list but this outside edge and i think that's because when you have a lot of load in the loader these do sit flat but if i'm mowing or tilling it's not flat, it doesn't spread the weight out across the whole thing because there isn't enough weight in the front. I'll probably leave it as it is because I do do a lot of loader work. Um, like I said, five and a half years out of the old ones. I expect to get 10 years out of these, barring any incident.